Fortnite just revealed so much about Chapter 4 Season 2 and let's just say this is our first look now that you definitely won't want to miss. Real quick, if you want the next Battle Pass 4 completely free, Peely says you need to drop a like in 3, 2, 1, 8. Congratulations, enjoy your Battle Pass when it comes. Now, but seriously, today's video is insane. We have all the leaks up until now about Battle Pass skins, a surprise event that we didn't expect ending off this season going into the next and so much more. Before we hop into that, look how insanely close we are to 2.515 million subscribers. It would make my start to 2023 so amazing if you do hit the button and turn on all notifications. After all, the only benefit to you is we do give different subscribers every day. So once you've subscribed, comment your Epic Games ID down below and what you'd like from the item shop and boom, you could be featured in the next video. Me and my dog, Charlie the Charcoal Pug, want to thank you for supporting code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. Literally one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter, so enter it if you haven't already. Just before we go any further, are you interested in winning 13,500 V-Bucks? Well, that's now possible thanks to Loot Boy for sponsoring today's video. Everyone can download Loot Boy now using my link in the video description or pinned comments, which is available on App Gallery, Android, iOS, and also via PC. Loot Boy allows you to collect coins within the app itself to open free packs. There's new comics every single week to make the app that much more refreshing, and there's even a new diamond feature to open premium packs for free. As you can see from me collecting enough diamonds to get 10 premium packs, not only did I get a ton of cool cards that obviously can be exchanged within Loot Boy, but 600 V-Bucks, which the code for is on screen right now. It's not only V-Bucks you can get, however, there's a ton of other cosmetics on screen right now that are contained on these cards, and even up to 13,500 V-Bucks. Speaking of which, me and Loot Boy are teaming up for today's video to give you guys the chance of winning 13,500 V-Bucks. To enter, simply register for Loot Boy and comment your username down below in the comments and the winner will be picked in 72 hours of this video going live. If you struggle to find teammates, then Loot Boy can help out with the chat radar system by you simply creating a user profile and adjusting things to your specific gaming taste to find like-minded players. Let's not forget about the diamond jackpot though. From opening each pack, one diamond is added to this jackpot that starts at 10,000 diamonds and each user can open 5 packs per day and after one week, the entire jackpot will be paid to a singular user. Check out Loot Boy now in the description or pinned comment and by using my code on screen, Loot Boy will give you a loot pack with diamonds, loot coins and much more. Diving straight into it as we wait for the battle bus, I've never seen this sign before, oh, it's gone now. Loot Boy are honestly the goats for sponsoring today's video and 13,500 V-Bucks that you have an opportunity to get from doing everything I mentioned could get you the maxed out Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass. Yes, you heard that right, tier 100 on the first day. Either way, just to add to matters, here is another 1,000 V-Bucks code on screen right now. Who can first redeem it? Obviously gets a free Battle Pass, kind of, because and Battle Pass each is 9. 150 V-Bucks which won't be changing with the release of the new season and as we land down now at perhaps the most popular POI of the Chapter 4 Island so far as we're only in the first season of this new chapter, Anvil Square. No, not the long shot shotgun, this weird toy looking nerf gun one. Is the long shot shotgun better than this toy one? First of all, public service announcement, alright? This season on the Battle Pass as you can see goes through until March 10th, meaning downtime as I've mentioned in previous videos is going to commence and then the next day early on we're going to be getting the new season on March 11th, 2023. I never really shoot these things. What's inside? Oh, chug splash. Not bad. Let's use our long shot shotgun now. Ha! I knew you'd turn away from this. What were you doing? What a name. Chapter 4 Season 2 is definitely going to come around quicker than we initially expected, considering February is only a 28-day month, obviously being the shortest month of the year. We're about to go into February now, actually, and for those that don't know, we actually have the crew pack revealed, which, if you only subscribe to the crew pack to get a really good deal of a battle pass within a new season release and then the crew pack skin, despite you getting everything on screen right now for this in February for the Fortnite crew pack, you don't want to be subscribing until, like, I don't know, near the end of February, so then it does actually give you the Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass Early March. Within each Battle Pass, once obtaining it or when it releases too, there's usually around 7 to 8 outfits, one of which we can unlock like halfway through the season. For instance, Geralt of Rivia that no one's talking about this season is obviously what's in Chapter 4 Season 1 as the unlockable or secret skin, or so it used to be. Not exactly secret when you literally put the skins now in the trailer Fortnite, what happened to revealing them halfway through. Before we reveal the skins that we know so far could potentially be upcoming and the reason for these, a curveball that we got thrown, yes, by Epic Games themselves actually was mentioned in this tweet by FNBR.watch. Hey, I got my new mid-season style. Oh my god, this loot was good. Blue long shot shotgun. But yeah, as you can see in the tweet, apparently Epic Games have not only begun testing the last update being 23.40 of this season on internal servers, which basically means we're going to be seeing a live event potentially the first one of a chapter to, well, end off the first season of a chapter, if that makes sense, considering we didn't see a live event in chapter 2 season 1 being the first season of chapter 2, nor did we see one in chapter 3 
season one, we simply had some cool stuff happening, such as, you know, the introduction to a new island and the Winterfest events. Speaking of Winterfest, it's over, Ginger Red Raider. You can put that skin back in your locker. Not gonna lie, this kind of fits right now, considering the storyline's getting very hectic. For instance, Rift Warden Stellan finally got introduced, being a character that is kind of on the side of the Ageless Champion, which for those who have been living under a rock and don't know, well, it's a snapshot of Jenna. The reason I say a snapshot is because, first of all, we knew Jenna to look like this in the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comics, and then this, the Ageless version, well, looks like he hasn't aged a day since he turned a teenager. Healy's Plunder, how convenient, considering we are the six foot banana. Let's apply that. I don't just say this stuff for no reason, Peely is actually six foot by the way, but I digress. Of course the storyline now is portrayed through the season's quests, and these ones being called Earthbound, where Rift Warden Stellan reveals that there is a shapeless man or being, of course, with that purpose looking over everything that we believe to be the nothing, which people speculate off the Fortnite surveys to look like this, and speaking of the Fortnite surveys, of course, we not only have a ton of skins on here, so feel free to pause the video as this literally, it might be like two lists, I don't know, considering there is a lot, but yeah, feel free to pause the video to get a good look at all of them, as some of these could be Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass skins before we reveal more specific collaboration ones, with Amy now kind of taking reins to try and get back the Seven as she basically admitted to us that yes, the Rift Gate, or one of them that's actually working, locked onto the Scientist and something terrible is happening to him. Don't forget she also said this about all members of the Seven being different, perhaps turned evil. As we speak, they change. This can't exactly be a good thing, and supposedly this is Amy, you know, the robot that we've actually been hearing the voice lines of that we don't know the true identity of until now. And yeah, this, was, of course, was taken off the Fortnite surveys. Just like most skins that we see now early come to the game. Wait, was there a llama around here? I swear I just saw a little llama. Maybe not. As per usual, on our compass, it's led us back to Anvil Square, where all of the stuff is going down. Wait, why don't I have my shotgun anymore? Doesn't matter, I've got this gold SMG. I'm sure you guys have heard all about the skins that potentially could be upcoming in though in chapter 4 season 2 in terms of collaborations potentially if not coming to the item shop which are huge skins that everybody really wants. For instance first of all Peter Griffin for those that don't know the codename french fry has been in the files since chapter 2 season 5 and then recently got updated to be linked to a male character despite initially of course revealing in the files itself under the codename french fry that it was to do with family guy due to the chicken fight scenes being plastered all over it. Here's what Peter Griffin kind of could look like now with the kind of anime outlining what was happening there. And I'm guessing with a collaboration like Family Guy, considering everybody's been wanting Peter Griffin in Fortnite, there would be, well, more Family Guy cosmetics. Kind of like, you know, how we originally got Rick from Rick and Morty and then Morty came and then now we've had basically so many more. Speaking of these, are they going to become rare now, considering everything that's happening with Rick and Morty? I guess we'll have to find out. Hopefully we can get a shockwave hammer. Who actually wants one of these over a shockwave hammer? Like, let's be real. Another, yes, believe it or not, more anticipated collaboration that could be upcoming. Let me get on you, Mr. Bo. Thank you very much. Potentially could be Miles Morales now, as it was initially kind of put out there that we'd be seeing him in the item shop in Chapter 3, Season 4, but this never came to be, as Gwen Stacy was the Tier 100 or Level 100 skin that season, so it would have made sense, but yeah, never happened. Who is shooting me? No! It's okay, the boar didn't die. With the recent release of a new Across the Spider-Verse trailer, and considering a Across the Spider-Verse, of course, releases kind of soon. Not only did players notice Spider-Man Zero at a specific moment of this trailer, meaning obviously Fortnite are going to collaborate with Across the Spider-Verse, this can literally run through anything. Like, how strong is this guy? He just destroyed an Ageless statue. And we can jump on the jellyfish. I don't want to confirm or deny that it's going to be coming in the Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass. It would be very cool, as we saw early last chapter, the first ever Spider-Man skin made by Epic Games in the Battle Pass. And considering Epic Games love doing anime collabs, you know, like we've had huge ones with events for Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. Attack on Titan's finale, or should I say the very last kind of part that's going to be releasing in two segments, first airs on March 3rd or 4th, I believe, and the release of the new season is March 11th, 2023. Sorry, Mr. Bo, um, I'm so sorry. This could mean we get some Attack on Titan skins in the item shop around this time, or even one, I'm guessing, at least in the Battle Pass. You just witnessed my boar die. Honestly, the Battle Pass trailer I'm really excited for in Chapter 4 Season 2, not only because of all these potential collaborations, either one or multiple upcoming out of the seven or eight outfits we're going to be seeing, but just like we saw the introduction of a new gameplay dynamic in Chapter 3, Season 2, the second season of that chapter, it's been leaked for a while now that they're working on first person and they've updated it in the game's coding multiple times. Maybe this is also the reason why we've got new movement mechanics such as wall running updated in the game's coding, as this would work better in first person in my opinion, but also work really well in third person. What are you doing on this bridge, Mr. Darth Vader, sir? Look, is the second to last guy. Following suit of them, 
add in a new kind of revolutionary gameplay dynamic in the second season of a brand new chapter. First person should be upcoming now as we've already kind of seen what it looks like in chapter 2 season 2. Believe it or not, it was already worked on back then from a glitch happening in the device lab event that you're seeing on screen right now. With this of course, a new battle pass feature or kind of cosmetic type could be introduced. For those that don't know, weapon charms got leaked in chapter 1 season X, the last season of that chapter or the only chapter that's ever had 10 seasons. And I'm just saying, considering first person is going to show way more of our weapon, of course it would be the perfect time to add kind of weapon modification cosmetics like charms onto them and have a few of those in the battle pass. You are the last person, give me that dub real quick, thank you, victory royale. Drop a like if you want first person 2 release in chapter 4 season 2 and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future videos. But speaking of other ones right now, click this one on screen, however most importantly hopefully I can catch you in the very next one I do publish on the channel.